Hi guys, welcome to another vlog starting from my bathroom. I haven't vlogged all week. Um, out of respect, also I just was not in the space to vlog. Um, I really, um, I was just working on like Black Lives Matter related content and all of that stuff, um, but I've missed you guys so, so, so much. And I also just wanna say that just as content kinda goes back to like quote unquote normal, um, that doesn't mean that like I'm not fighting with, my, with you guys and I'm not like, I don't have your back like 103,000 percent. So this past week has been um, just like obviously really heavy, especially, I mean, for the black community and also just for the world. I've been posting a ton, obviously I did an episode with Dom, the video's up here and I know I've mentioned it in the past few vlogs. Um, I just wanna say that just as my content um, kind of goes back to quote unquote normal, that doesn't mean that I'm like fighting any less or educating myself less or anything like that. Um, I think it's also important to do a bunch of stuff off camera. I love you guys. Um, I'm gonna continue to listen, read, educate myself, fight for, donate, sign petitions, um, basically whatever I possibly can. So I love you guys so much. Um, and I think the progress even that's just been made, like it's a start, you know? Today was absolutely incredible. I got the opportunity to kind of host a Pilates class online with Daylight and then we were um, benefiting an organization. We're gonna do it again and we're gonna switch what organization we're um, donating to, but it's $10 um, and then we're having it again on Friday. I think this vlog will probably be up later, but it's all over my Instagram and stuff. Anyways, it was just so incredible. Like the conversation we had after the meditation and everything after the workout was just like literally unreal. Also guys, I have a new hair routine. Uh, once my hair is dry, I will share it with you guys. In the past few vlogs, I've just been talking about my hair. It's been super, super dry lately. Um, but I actually found some new products that I like even more that I wanted to share with you guys. So we'll be talking about that too. Anyways, I love you guys. I miss you guys even just not vlogging like for a few days and uploading this past week. I like really, really miss you guys, which is ridiculous because like we're on Instagram and stuff still, but like I just miss you guys. Oh yeah, so obviously we have some um, major house updates. The main one being the fact that there are squirrels in my walls. I cannot make this up. They're in this wall. I hear them. I know that they're squirrels because it's during the day. They need to get taken care of and they still have yet to. I keep calling people and they can't come to my house. It's not enough time. Like, it's just literally awful. Um, so that's kind of what I've been dealing with a little bit today. Just made lunch. I made Home Chef, which is so freaking good. Like, it was seriously the best meal ever. I'll be sharing that on my Instagram story soon. I've been editing and just getting some work done. Um, I'm so tired, honestly. I need a 30 minute nap. I don't know why I'm so exhausted. Just wanted to give you guys a little book update on books I've read this past week. Honestly, I didn't read as much as I would normally read just because I was focusing on white fragility and just like watching a ton of documentaries and just things to educate myself. Um, I finished Where the Crawdads Sing. I don't know if I mentioned that in a vlog. I liked it. I'm not as obsessed with it as everyone else's. I thought it was good, but I think it's a little bit overhyped in my opinion. I don't know. Don't come for me, please. Also, I'm just not the kind of girl who wants to read about a girl in a marsh, marsh either. Like, it's just not really my vibe. But I definitely think it was a good book. The beginning was really slow. I read Bright Fragility. That is, like, such an incredible book. I think everyone needs to read it. I also read Wish You Were Here. Um, really good, sad, and then I just started November 9th last night. Honestly, I hadn't read at all besides White Fragility um, until last night. I finished that book and then I started this one, so I'm not that far into it. But yeah, those are my updates. Okay, so anyways, tonight I'm going to go over to my cousin Alyssa's. She just got a new apartment that's even closer to me, which is awesome. So we're going to see the new place and get some food and stuff. Um, that is the plan. My hair, I literally cannot get over how soft my hair is, but... Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go there. I need to head out there in like 20 30 minutes Also, I'm literally so tan who would have ever thought guys. It's just crazy I'm not leaving for like 30 minutes update on the squirrels The earliest we can even get someone to get here is Monday today's Friday So if these squirrels come in and eat me in my sleep, like you guys know what happened to me. Okay, I'm just like no one finds this to be an emergency. It's actually unbelievable. Also, besides that, I wasn't gonna have like more health issues, but like it feels like I have swimmers here even though I haven't been in the pool and it's like so, so painful. Okay, so I need to show you guys a lot of things that I've received over the past week. Some of this I purchased, some of this is gifting. Um, the first thing I'm gonna show is from Shop Love Haley. She did an Instagram takeover on that. I love you so much. Instagram this past week, which was awesome. But the first thing I got is this really cute dress. I like how there's just like the cutout. You can't really see. This is a cutout, just a little bit. Um, and I just thought this would be super cute. It's super light, which is like 
what I need because it's so hot here. Um, and this really cute blue scrunchie, which she just threw in the package and she's so nice. And these really cute like blue tie-dye socks. So I'm really excited about this. They'll look great with my Air Forces. Okay, first things first, I actually picked up three. Um, one of them I've already been using of the replacements of Savon Ayla's Luxe Unfiltered Self Tanner. It's the best self tanner ever. It's gradual. It, like literally I put it on today and I'm wearing white because it doesn't get on your white clothes. It doesn't transfer. It's not sticky. Super moisturizing. I've gone through this, but I've tried like every self tanner under the sun and this is the best one I've ever used. I don't think I'll ever stray. I love it so much that I bought three to have like as backup. So the only thing I will say is I feel like I run out of it pretty quickly, but it's just the best thing ever and I don't care. Okay, I have a bunch of stuff from Revolve Beauty that I'll quickly go through. Um, they sent me some clothing that I picked out and then they just threw this in the package. So I have an anti-pollution purifying mist, this hydrate and nourish, moisturizer, a Dr. Brandt pore um, primer, which I have actually, and then a chlorine shampooing, set, like dry shampoo. And then a white toothpaste. This toothpaste is like really, really cool looking. So I'm excited to try that. Okay, I have a lot of clothes from Revolve, guys. Thank God. I really needed clothes so bad. Um, follow my Instagram. I'm going to be posting more stuff. But I have these girlfriend denim shorts that I think are so cute. I like how they're longer because I'm really particular about like denim shorts. And I love how these are longer because I just don't like what my butt's out. Not even because my butt's out. I just feel like it's not flattering. This cute little bodysuit here. I could for sure be wearing a cute outfit tonight. Maybe I'll change. Okay, then I have this really cute top that I'm just gonna wear as like a mesh cover up to swimsuits or something. A pair of white jeans from Super Down. Super Down is a way more um, affordable line on Super on Revolve. And I really like a lot of their stuff. It's really great quality. I got another pair of girlfriend denim jeans. Girlfriend is my favorite. Oh my gosh. Girlfriend and girlfriend Anna Goldie. Goldie. What? Can someone please tell me how I pronounce it? These are just the best and they have a seam kind of going down the back, but um, they're just like the best quality jeans and so freaking flattering. I have a bunch from them. Um, I got this green dress. I didn't even realize it had chain um, straps, but this green like midi dress. I like how it's like neon and super cute. Then I think this is so pretty. I hope it's long enough now that I'm really looking at it, but it's from Super Down. It's just like beautiful. There's a little bit of lace at the top and I just think it's so cute. Okay, I got this because I have a vision for a shoe and this is like the most beautiful dress. Unreal. And then you go down and then there's like fringe at the bottom. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Love that more than like anything. So this is a pink dress, little stripes. Just think it's super cute. I have this blue mini dress that is super thin, like super, super soft. It's gonna be the most comfortable thing ever to wear. I have, I have so much stuff guys. This pink dress. Um, which I love. It's this little baby doll dress and I just think it's gonna be so beautiful to wear this summer. Oh my gosh, I love baby doll dresses. I have another, oh, a white little blouse. That's just like a good staple to have. Another white dress, which is part of my shoot vision that I have. So that is super cute. And then I have this pink dress that I believe, where is it from again? LPA. Um, I think I probably should have gotten a small. I got a medium, but just like amazing quality, so pretty, so cute, love. So that's what I have for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I literally cannot hear out of my right ear, so uh, great. I decided to change to go to Alyssa's just because it's like, why not? Also, these are the girlfriend jeans that I showed you and I got a size 28. I always size up in these jeans. I'm normally a 27 just because they run really small, but I feel like they're a little bit big around my waist, but they fit my legs, so. I don't know, my grandma also is a seamstress, so I can get all this stuff like perfectly taken in, which I think I will do. <laughs> Anyways, I think this bodysuit is actually from an old Revolve order, um, from Super Down, I wanna say. And then I just have my Air Force Ones on, and I'm gonna throw on my purse. So this is the look, and then I'll probably end up throwing my hair up because um, I just am so bad about actually keeping it down. Like, it's very hard for me to do, apparently. Influenced! <laughs> I'm at Alyssa's new place. She somehow has already literally moved in within a span of hours. I'm very confused. Also, confirmed, I do have some rosier. Call my doctor, and now we're getting meds, guys. My life is, I'm like a mess, okay? Anyways, so cute. Look at the new place. We'll be here lots, even closer to me. Here's a beautiful, nice kitchen. People love tours, Alyssa. I'm just invading her entire space, but it's fine. We're good. Um, over here, oh, this is the washer and dryer. These doors just make it look so, like, fab, you know? 
a great closet. What are these doors? What are those? Just like oh, storage? This is, okay. Oh! The miscellaneous. I love the miscellaneous. I appreciate the thick shelves. I really do like <laughs> so, that. Is that just like vents or something? This is the water heater. The oh, water. super exciting. That's where I think, <laughs> oh wait, no it isn't. I just have a closet where all the squirrels are right now, guys. Um, And then you walk in, wow. great. I love how you're gonna get some light up here from mm -hmm. this. I like how it still is open. I love this door. And then, yep, well, that's exactly, we're not done though. We're not done though. And Here's we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Oh, I okay. love how this is so tall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're sunburned. Oh no. It's not that actually but red. Guys, I have one. I don't think you can even see anymore because I self tanned, but I sent Alyssa. You look really tan. I did have, it's my Savannah Ayla stuff. I, I did have a tan line from my run yesterday. Which is We very are impressive. also runners still. Yep. Don't and worry. And now we're going to start running together because I live Again. so yes. close. So close. No excuses. No excuses. We're feeling good about this. I hate the bra that I'm wearing, but whatever. Um, anyways, it's looking great, everyone. <laughs> Love it. So I'm filling Alyssa in on what my father has said today, and I, I thought I would share with you guys as well. Um, first off, he thought it was funny that there's squirrels in my house. We I, called him. Sab was over the other night, and we were, like, screaming, and he's like, you'll be fine. This no. is what he says. I'm so happy we tracked Victor down, who's gonna help us out. Okay, Victor. I hear you. Now stop. I have it under control. Love you. If it is indeed a squirrel, squirrel emoji, we should name him either Simon or Sammy. Thoughts? What? Then he goes, Simon sounds much more educated. I feel he reads book emoji, books. Since you like to read... I can't read as soon as I say. Since, yeah. all, since you like to read too, as well, this may be the better fit for you and Coco. You may want to only give him ebooks. He may chew on paper books. Just a thought. And then he sends me this photo. <gasps> People. I like, literally I cannot, cannot believe him at all. I know. So the squirrel, <laughs> it's going to be me, Coco, and the squirrels this weekend, guys. All right, guys, we just went to CVS. It's much later to pick up my swimmer's ear prescription, and uh, the pharmacy was closed. So um, it's just getting worse by the minute. <laughs> if you've had swimmer's ear before, you guys know it's just like the most uncomfortable, painful experience. So we're going to go pick up my car and then go back to my house. Um, we're listening to Lynn and Stella, as always. As always. We love her. Something She's our modern day JoJo. Uh, she really is. She really is. That's a very big the thing for us to say. That's a huge claim. Because we love JoJo. We love JoJo. Oh, yeah. Guys, I am a wreck. First off, hi. I just finished the book November 9th by Colleen Hoover. I was not planning on reading it. I read for like three hours. This morning it's literally like noon at this point and I finished the book and it was so good. One of you guys recommended it to me in my DMs and I always was like, oh, I'll read that because it's Colleen Hoover. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I have become a romance book person. It's like really weird. I haven't read a thriller in a bit, but oh my gosh, it was so good. Like, I literally cannot get over it. Okay, update on my outfit, guys. I'm wearing these shorts that I got from Revolve. The waist, these are 28, and they're definitely really big. Um, but I'm just going to have them taken in. They're, you, I'm sure all of you girls can relate to, like, it fitting your waist, not your butt, not your thighs, your thighs. Not your, you know what I'm saying? It's always annoying. So, I'm just going to wear them for now because I'm going to be laying out anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm wearing just, like, a white, um, like, high-waisted suit from Airy, and then this top is Revolve. Anyways, I'm gonna clean really quick of about 30 minutes until Liz is getting here. I need to blast music and like get in the mood because that book literally made me want to cry and now I have a bunch of friends coming over. This is my first time having friends over since getting this house. More than one person. Majority of my like childhood friends literally haven't even been here because the only people who have seen this house are really like Maddie and stuff. Just because of quarantine and blah, 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 but it's been lifted for a while here. So I thought, why not, you know? So anyways, I'm gonna get to cleaning. Um, and I'm gonna feel really good about it and blast some music and then we're gonna go to the store and pick up some stuff So it's gonna be super fun. Okay, I'm so excited because my parachute home um, Shams came in. I've had these sitting here Waiting all week Okay, I just realized that they're definitely the wrong color. So um, Yeah, I'm gonna have to return and get the right color. All right, guys, I'm with Liz. We're on my phone now. We're going into Trader Joe's um, to make a complete spread for our pool day today because we really need it. Also, second time this week, um, apparently Liz was wearing this shirt earlier and then she changed. So if I would have gotten in her car wearing this, it would be the second time this week that we showed up in the same outfit. Yeah. So that's great. <laughs> 
Stopped at Lala Land and I got the strawberry fields that I love. Liz is inside her house right now. She got an Arnold Palmer though. But anyways, it's like this is literally the best drink ever. I didn't even mix it fully, but it's a matcha drink with I don't know. It's like a matcha drink with strawberry, and it is literally the best thing you'll ever have. Ooh, this ugly fridge really just makes me mad. <laughs> literally, it makes me so mad. Like, it's not that bad. No, it's pretty bad. Oh, you know, I had a dream last night that my sink was like completely open at the bottom. I don't know why I just remembered <laughs> like, that. I was like, wait, it's gonna fall. Like, <laughs> yeah, not good. Okay, so we are making some snacks. Yes, there's only um, five people basically coming. So, like, including us, <laughs> I think six total. Yeah. Yeah, but we're going all out because this is the most exciting we've had in quite some time. So we're gonna make what is it? What was it again? Uh. Strawberry vodka frozen <laughs> dragon fruit dragon fruit inspired by TikTok. Inspired so by TikTok. that's really exciting. My first drinks inspired by TikTok. But you already made them, right? Or you just wanted to make them? No, I haven't made it yet. Oh you haven't? No. Okay, great. I want to well, make it, so we're really looking forward to this. We'll take you guys along on the process. Is it from the Trader Joe's girl? It's a Trader Joe's reviews. Oh yeah, the like classic one. It looks like I have like underwear that's like okay. <laughs> Well guys, just call me a florist. Look at how beautiful this looks. Okay, what do we have so far? Okay. Um, limeade. We've got the limeade, we've got the ice. We're adding the dragon fruit, chips, and I even need to add the two shots of vodka. Do you have like a shot glass? Uh, yeah, so I don't even have a shot glass here. So, okay, we'll guess. We'll guess. I used to have uh, Texas shot glasses in LA that were cute. Missed um, those yeah, before my LA house went away forever. Oh yeah, just like, we'll just hope for the best there. Also, all of this stuff is seriously beautiful. This um, is from the flea market we went to last week. These black bowls from Target, Pottery Barn. These are Liz's, that's why I'm telling you guys. Um, and these are random stuff, because I don't have like serving stuff still, which is like what I really need, because it's my greatest passion in life, is to host at this point. <laughs> Shout out to Danielle. Never done this before. Is there a certain way that you cut a watermelon? Might be a dumb question, but I'm calling the watermelon queen herself. <laughs> hey, girly. Um, I have a watermelon. Just wanted to call and say hello. Also, um, how do I cut this thing? <laughs> so summary of you. Um, I am not a watermelon cutter. I pretty much always buy it cut. So that's how we should have done. This is my friend yeah. Liz. Oh, I'm vlogging, by the way. Okay, well, I'm just gonna try my best, but I just wanted to pay my respects. No, okay, oh my god. Considered a watermelon queen to you. Wait, you're vlogging? Yeah, but behind the camera. Here, I'll show you. That's so fun. Oh my god. Hi, everybody. So fun. This looks absolutely amazing. Do not mind my hands, seriously. It's embarrassing. I don't care. This literally looks like the best thing I've ever seen. Um, here's our snacks that we will eventually bring upstairs. Looking so beautiful. Coco, how you doing, girl? Wow. Seriously killed this. Like, it is so beautiful. Wow. Smells amazing. Liz has really taken over as far as hostess duties today. Liz's beautiful creation. I don't even know if you can tell how beautiful it is. Okay, taste test. Are you ready? It's so good. Do you not like it? I feel like I need to add a little. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I think it's it very good. good. No, it's very good. I think it's perfect. Okay, I'm just like picky. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are picky. No, it's okay. good. This is actually it satisfies. No, this is really incredible. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so hot up here. But here's our spread. So cute. Mostly done by Liz. The pool is getting refilled. Okay, that's the number one thing we're doing because it is so hot, and the pool seriously saves you in times like this. The rooftop is just looking beautiful. Um, so I have Maui Babe, but guys, like. Maui Babe just like really stains my swimsuits, but it works amazing. So I have it on now, but I switched into a black one because it was ruining my white one. Um, <sighs> this is what we have, speaker. I still haven't moved the turf up here. I don't know why. Um, and Liz is a genius and tied this up. So we're filling up the pool because this is like exactly what we need right now. It is so hot. Here we go, beautiful. 
is now 11.45. My friends just left. We've literally been on the rooftop that entire time, like all day long. Um, it was just so good. There's something about hometown friends that it's just like so easy with. Like it's, I just needed it so bad. So I'm glad that happened. Um, we already have plans for next week. But yeah, anyways, the boys just left. Um, they helped me clean because they're angels and Texans. That's what happens. They go to bed and pick out a new book. I'm really excited. Probably another Colleen Hoover. I know it's not surprising. <laughs> Okay, last night I started maybe someday by Colleen Hoover as well. Big Colleen Hoover girl these days. Um, but I'll let you guys know how I like it. I'm only like 11% of the way through. Happy Sunday, everyone. Um, first off, it's weird because the squirrels have been gone the past two days, but they were here from like Tuesday to Friday. So I don't know if they take weekends off or what. Um, but it's like 1 p.m. I slept in a little bit and then I did a really, really long morning routine. And honestly, I just feel like so heavy still not that like really this will ever go away i guess but just like thinking about like where our, our world is at and like everyone who's hurting it's just like i don't know i'm just like not in the best mood right now um but i'm trying to like go do something because i feel like i really need to recharge and i feel like this past week i was like so learning, educating, doing all this stuff, but like I was barely even doing my devos, like I just wasn't like taking care of myself at all, which I don't think is good for anyone. Like I, I feel like I can't really help with anything if like I'm not in a good place. Not obviously this is not about me, but you know what I mean? I feel like just for anyone, like you can't really help if you're not in a good place. Look at Coco right now. She's seriously, oh my gosh, she's like my best friend ever. I love you. Coco, you are my best decision ever. So, with that being said, I think I'm gonna try to have um, a recharging day. That's what I was trying to make this weekend, um, and I feel like this morning it just like really hit me, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so that's where we're at. I'm just hanging out with good old Coco. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Guys, I got a package from B Golden, which I was actually looking at it, and it seemed like the perfect thing for me, and I just accidentally messed that up. Okay. So basically it's just gold coffee pouches. They roast their beans at lower temperatures so then it has like a smooth gold coffee so it drinks more like a tea but it's like regular coffee. So really exciting. Um, I'm not gonna make this now because I already have coffee but I'm really excited. I will definitely be like sharing this in a vlog because I think it's really interesting especially because lately I've been saying like coffee feels too heavy but I need the caffeine you know. So. Anyways, also love the mug. Okay, so still not feeling my best, but I do have Texas peaches and trying to just, you know, be healthy, if you will. I was just playing some music. I FaceTimed like three friends, no one answered, but it's fine, I'm fine. Um, my cousin Alyssa just called and I think she's actually gonna come pick me up at like two or three and we're gonna go get like a smoothie or something somewhere because that sounds so good. It is so hot, guys. Like I tried my best to go on the rooftop and read and do my Devo up there and like I just, I just like couldn't make it. Like, anyways, I'm including this portion because I feel like maybe I even have Sunday scaries today. Like I don't really know what's up. Um, like I don't know. I just am like not feeling my absolute best. On a brighter note, I was actually thinking this morning and I've been pretty bad about my gratitude journal too. I've been pretty bad about like everything as far as self-care lately and just like my, not really my routine, I've been good on my routine, but like self-care. Um, and I was just thinking, especially last night when I was like with my friends that I've been friends with since I was like 10, and how this house and like being back in Texas is like such an answered prayer that like I had no idea it would be, because obviously I wasn't like praying specifically to move back to Texas for the longest time, even though I love Texas. It's like having all those relationships and I have a home where I feel so comfy in like the best location that I could ever ask for. Like my family lives so close to me. It's just like the relationships that I have in the community and the life that I have here, I'm so grateful for. I love my life in LA too. I just feel like, I don't know, I do feel just like very fulfilled. I don't really know how to describe it because I don't even mean the house as like a materialistic thing. Like obviously this place is like above and beyond what I could have ever imagined to like live in and have at 22. Like I'm so grateful for that, but I think way more so it's the fact that my family is so close. I have all these friendships and relationships with like all these people growing up that I love that I didn't think I would like be able to see as regularly as like I'll be able to now, which those people like mean literally the world to me. Um, and just like so many things. I don't know. I feel like I just like 
this house and like being here is like a constant reminder of like I cannot believe that this is my life and I'm so grateful um, for it and just I don't know so I think I've just been thinking a lot about gratitude as well and how like I don't feel like I even deserve the life that I have I don't know I'm just like so grateful in this house in the least materialistic way possible is like the biggest like answered prayer for me and like what it what this house really needs and like symbolizes for me I don't know how to describe it. So that's one good thing. Um, I'm gonna call Alyssa back because she FaceTimes me We're at Foxtrot guys ignore my nails. We got a chicken biscuit and avocado toast display it is so cute. All right, guys, I'm back from Alyssa's. Um, we stopped at Fox Trot. I don't know why I'm talking so weird, and it was so good. Tonight, Liz and I are actually going to go to dinner. I know, it's a really crazy time here. Texas has been open since I think like May 1st or something. Um, we're about to be in phase three. Um, so this has been like an option for like well over a month. Um, it's crazy for me because I get really scared of everything and so I still don't leave my house for the next month. So now that um, I have, it's just like really a big step for me, you know? Anyways, we're gonna go eat at Paradiso, which is like really cute. We have reservations at 7.30 and it's currently 5.30. So it is seven, I'm now ready. I just FaceTimed TK and Morgan for quite some time. Um, I have a box and trash to take out, but I'm wearing this dress from Revolve that I showed you guys in the haul early in this vlog. Wearing a dress is like so easy because it's so comfortable um, and it's so freaking hot, so I'm not gonna be dying. And then I put on like really, really light makeup. This is like my favorite makeup look right now. Um, I actually didn't put on the Wonder Glow for once, now that I think about it. But anyways, Liz is almost here. She's picking me up and we're going to Paradiso, which I'm really excited for. <laughs> I'm gonna not record this way. She is so happy. Coco, you are just the cutest thing ever. It was so cute. I actually ran into Janine. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life vlog. Um, I'm so excited to be uploading again. Coco's really like, just wants to, okay, Coco just really wants to play. So I have to go, but I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life vlog. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.